Hello everyone, in this new video of Health 101, we will dig a little deeper in how to use JavaScript with TMS WebCore applications. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the TMS WebCore partner program that you can implement JavaScript in TMS WebCore, and we've received some feedback of customers who would like to know how to do this. So today, I'll show you a quick way on how to use JavaScript functionality. First of all, we're going to need a JavaScript class, and for this example, I'll use the moment.js class so you can download the moment.js file or the moment with locales.js file you can download this one if you want to use another locale than the us time formatting so for this example we'll try the add function with the calendar format so we get in text like tomorrow add or thursday add at some time so you can download this file and then you can create a new tms webcore application in this WebCore application, we'll first of all add the JavaScript file that we downloaded. In my case, this is the moment with locales file. All of the files that you add this way will be deployed in your output folder. So also images and other files. Uh, but we also need to add a reference to the JavaScript file in our HTML file. So this way as it is done with our uh, project script and just Pick your name in my case it's mo moment with locales and now as we add as we use the add function we'll add a web spin edit for the number and a web combo box for the period also a web button to do the formatting and the calculation and a web label to show it now we'll set the minimum value that you can use on your web spin edit also to minus 100 minus 100 and we'll set the items to our web combo box and you can choose so for this example i'll use minutes days and weeks i will now click on the web button to go to the web button click event where we'll do our javascript functionality we'll try to do as less javascript as possible so we'll retrieve our number and our period with object pascal code so for the number we'll create a, a integer variable and we'll create a period variable that is of the type string and we'll also add a time variable string where we'll store our uh, formatted text in now to retrieve these we'll do the web spin edit one dot value and go to our combo box items and now for the javascript code we'll create an asm block therein we can type all of the javascript code that we need so here we'll type time equals so it's equals and not colon equals as this is a um, as this is javascript code now we'll use the moment class where we'll do the add function and we'll take as arguments our number and period variable i will set it to our calendar formatting that's all of the javascript code we need so we have the uh, local defined um variables can be used in our asm block if you want to use other variables or uh, class properties or uh, component properties then you'll there is another way but we'll not go into this in here and now we'll just need to set our web label one dot caption to our time and that should be it so now if we just say we'll add one day We'll see tomorrow at 12.01 p.m. Or if we go 14 minutes back, then we have today at 11.47 a.m. Also 14 weeks, the 23rd of June 2020. So this is the U.S. locale. And I already mentioned that if you have the moment with locales, you can also change it so let's say for example we want to use the locale of great britain we'll just go english great britain you can find this on their website 
Now if we run this again, you'll see that the AM and PM will be gone at one day. So we just have tomorrow at 12.02. And if we just go back four weeks, then you have the 1st of September 2020. And for those of you who are wondering, is just the same in TMS WebCore for Visual Studio Code? Um, it's just the same code, I just opened the project. Now if we run this, this is a trial version that's installed, so I'll get the message. But now if I say add one day, I'll get tomorrow at 12.07. So it's the same output as in Delphi. Another thing that might be useful is that you can how to get to your components in the JavaScript code. Uh, so for example, I want to get to my label. So that equals the document dot get element. Get element, sorry, with a capital letter by ID. And I'll just say, for example, web label. Now, if I go to our DFM file or design file, this is where you set it here. It's the element ID web label. So I hope that this helps you a lot. There are a lot of more possibilities to go to, um, but it would be too much to go in one video. So if you would like to know more about this JavaScript, for example, how to create classes from the JavaScript files or uh, other things, just let us know and we'll try to make a video about it. So I hope that this was very helpful to you and that you discovered a great new feature of TMS WebCard. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.